This is a day really for all of us, uh, students, the faculty, the staff, and 52,000 alumni around the world to just step up and say to the world, you know what, we are thrilled to be affiliated with this great place. And uh, for students especially, it's a great opportunity for everybody to take a pause and to remember that the only reason why this university is here uh, is because of all these people all over the world who each and every day find a way to be generous to this place. They build the buildings, they give you scholarships, they underwrite a good cost, a good, a good bit of the education each and every day. So, you know, it's a reminder to all of us here on the campus, the students and the faculty and staff in particular, this is a day when we recognize we are the beneficiaries of great generosity and we need to be grateful. So, so I'm thrilled that you folks have taken time out of your day to come and just ask me about what's going on. So, so what's happening all over the country is that alumni are they're uh, on uh, hashtag Valpo Day. They're posting pictures. They're, there are great videos that uh, have been recorded from uh, celebrity alums all over the country. Uh, and they are making gifts. And they are making a lot of gifts. So you know, our goal today, I hope, is to have the all-time one-day record of the number of gifts given to Valparaiso University. We've had a great donor that uh, uh, gave us a challenge grant of $30,000, and we're working hard to get that met, uh, and, then, uh, and then we'll see if we've got some more surprises in store. So if you go to hashtag Valpo Day, um, you'll be able to see all the things that are pouring in from all over the country. So I'd encourage every student to do that as well. So lots and lots and lots of things happening. Here on campus, it may look quiet, but what's happening all over the world is pretty exciting. And I know we have an entirely uh, new screen here with all our social media hooked up. Um, can you tell us about you know, how the university is embracing social media and how important it is? Well, it's important for alums that are uh, coming to us from the 80s, the 90s, 2000s. You know, they are plugged in and they are networked in, in a way that uh, perhaps alumni that graduated in the 40s and the 50s and 60s and even 70s aren't. And so if we're going to reach this, these generations of alumni, then social media is really the best way to do it. So um, what we're seeing is there's lots of folks plugged in out there and they're all talking to each other. And I've, I've been getting um, messages from alumni who are out there uh, in social media, media challenging each other as to who can give the bigger gift. So that's going on out there. We also have uh, out there, we've got uh, athletic teams uh, from uh, an alumni in football and tennis and basketball. They're all challenging each other. Who can give the most gifts? Who can, who can give that much to Valpo? So we have all that competition going out there. So social media allows us to do this spontaneously in, in a way that's viral, whereas uh, traditionally Valpo in the past would send out a mailing, they make a phone call. Well, the world's changing, and so this enables the university to really go in the trajectory of communications with alums uh, like you and, uh, and, and future alums like you and alums that have graduated more recently. Okay, and just a quick question, how long uh, do alumni or students have to donate? Today, today is the day, so you know, get there and do it. And, uh, and uh, for graduating seniors, okay, this is time to step up for that class gift. All the classes before you have done it, and it's your time to step up as well. So today's the day, let's get going. And, uh, uh, and I'm getting ready as soon as I'm off the, off the uh, uh, mic with you, I'm getting ready for my family to go make my gift as well.